nothing. <laughs> okay, so here's the first load of six by sixes uh, right there. I'm getting more than double of what I actually need, planning to uh, use the not so nice ones in certain other projects, you could say. These are uh, two by six. Again, this is all sawmill material. So it's same thing this is made out of here. So it's a real full dimensional lumber. Really? Yeah, so this is the first load and I'm expecting five more loads. <laughs> I got a little bit of rain last night, but try to a little bit of paraffin wax mixed uh, oh, not even half with uh, a form of like an olive oil. Wax these ends here. A little bit messy. Uh, dried up very solid, which is kind of brittle too. So the next uh, side we're going to do is we're going to use a lot more oil and a lot less wax and uh, see how it looks. But I mean, yeah, they're pretty sealed up. Could use a little bit more in certain spots, but yeah. Probably don't really need to worry about it because I'm going to cut a lot off. But they don't really, logs don't dry from the edge or the sides, only from the corners, corners, cuts, and greens. So we'll see. But also got the. Uh, real two by sixes in there oh well, was going to stack them in the greenhouse but again we're getting another five loads of this delivered so yeah it's going to be quite a bit <laughs> yeah, you're not making a mess knocking anything over in there poo poo oh, i think i'll let that go then <laughs> Okay, so only six horsepower diesel and uh, another transaxle shot. I got four gears. That's reverse. Yeah, she's not happy trying to use any reverse gears. Yeah, she's a little bit hoppy in reverse. Oh, that kind of sucks. Huh. At the beginning, it was just popping out of gear, and I was able to hold it. My Ford gears are all working. But she definitely lost reverse. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> First time out of the year on the quad, and uh, yeah, got a couple friends. I don't think they really want to go anywhere. Uh, well, technically, one just went uh, to the left so of this one. I wish I can see your tail wiggling. Yeah. This one here is kind of just more interested on what we're doing, I think. Meow. Last year's baby. Mm-hmm. Meow. Meow. You want some food? You don't want any food? Oh, they like the I swear they're like cats. I know. They are pretty much a big-ass cat. I mean, that would be a pretty easy uh, neuter. Neuter. You know what I mean. This is all going to be a new development here. afraid are you like not of quads not at all not even the least bit like, come on yeah she's going this way now it's probably the ones from our yard is probably what it is survey marker do not move <laughs> I see him. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. Hey. Well, 
vegetables are growing pretty huge and pretty quick. Those are all peppers, tomatoes, all kinds of peppers, smaller tomatoes, fancy grass, all kinds of stuff. Living room's full, but it's kind of a mess, so I won't show that. And there's more outside. And a couple fancy grow light. Okay, so here, I have no clue what most of this stuff is. <laughs> that's an apple tree. That's a uh, maple. That's three apple trees weaved-ish together. That's an apple tree that stayed inside all winter, so it's not really growing. Uh, those are all strawberries. Strawberries. They were, take time to come up. Rosemary. And this is all apple trees up here. Another one weaved together. Uh, these are all baby uh, maple trees. Uh, garlic? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, not too bad. <laughs> Whew. She is a windy as frig one out today. Got a guy coming to take a peek at the Honda Odysseys. Uh, you know, had a few people wait until spring. Oh, wow. That tarp uh, sure did wonders to the grass. You can see where the tarp was sitting. Uh, the storm last night was pretty crazy. Uh, believe it or not, they're all dry. You know why? Because the tarp only blew off about half an hour ago and it stopped raining hours and hours ago. A lot of it's starting to dry up, but yeah, I'm gonna sell off the Honda Odysseys. Uh, guys offering me a decent amount of coin, you could say. So we'll see if he actually is interested because, you know, they're pretty rough. But, I mean, I know what they're worth. So I got to haul all the junk out of the piles everywhere here. See what's with it. I don't think these poles are from it, but, yeah, I got to go through everything. Get it all ready. And uh, get all the engine parts I have hidden. Somebody was smashing rocks here. I wonder who that was. Hmm. Okay, well. Start dragging this one out. I just hauled all the Honda Odyssey parts out. Yeah. I think everything's here for the second one that's all apart. Uh, engine bolts, I know I got in the baggie inside. But. I think everything's there. I don't know. Might have some missing stuff, but engine parts, carburetor, everything's in there. So. Hmm. And also, I noticed. Uh, this transaxle here, free spins. And in there is a whole brand new chain, main shaft, gears, like every single thing for the, uh, I guess, uh, gear reduction. It's all in there. <laughs> so it might just have a broken chain, this one. I don't know. I could probably see through the oil cap. I never actually even tried to look before. Oh, you can't see. Nope. There's a little... Uh, you think they would make that an inspection cover, but you can see it's sealed shut, so no one had it apart, so it's not gutted, or they wouldn't have installed it gutted. Weird, hey? Well, it snapped a few pictures, but believe it or not, all that fit into a small Honda. So, yeah. He's just leaving now, but wow. It took uh, a couple hours to take everything apart to make it fit, but yeah, that is pretty amazing. He's just driving away. Perfect. <laughs> I don't get his plate number or anything, but wow. I mean, literally probably could not have fit another tire in there. Well, working on this here starter here, and uh, this uh, brush holder shattered during minus 30 weather trying to switch starters, so yeah. This whole uh, piece shattered off. I wasn't too hard on the bolt, but because it was cold weather, it shattered. So this gave a little bit of a JB weld. And uh, letting that dry. When I go to put it back in, I'll have to cover the side of the starter with JB weld along this zone here. Make sure it doesn't happen again. But that's why working on stuff in minus 30 weather sucks. <laughs> Well, sure enough, I just finished this guy, and then the girlfriend breaks her water sprayer. More JB Weld repairs, two in one day. For <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know. That might be okay. We'll see. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to break more stuff? 
I mean, yeah. You guys see that? We're getting snow. I was meant to get uh, gravel delivered today. Wood delivered today. Yeah. It's not because of the snow. It's the fact that we just had like 25 millimeters of rain. Another weekend of not getting any work done. And the girlfriend wanted to have a grad sale, but not if it's going to be snowing. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Bunch of old random, oh, random junk. Starting of a yard sale. Get rid of some old junk. <laughs> And I should have mentioned it's actually starting to snow. How fun. Oh, the girlfriend's slowly getting rid of some junk. The trike sold a bunch of other random junk. So, but been working on the sears. Pulled off the old snow blower. Uh, put the starter back on her because the starter uh, pulled off. And uh, got that all back on. Uh, got to do the throttle cable and maybe fix the hood. Wow, that is like seized. Maybe that's why it broke. It's actually seized up there. Huh. Well, throttle cable now. I gotta get that guy out of there. A little bit of a trick to get him out. I could just technically change the cable possibly or unbolt the whole mechanism. Uh, now, the only one I have technically, those two tractors both have good ones on it. This one, the end's broken off, but I think there's enough meat there to work with still. Uh, it's cool, yeah. yeah. I think there'll be enough meat to work with. We'll see, but she has a little bit of fuel and oil. That kind of sucks, but other than that, she is running again. And uh, I just put in the battery, but you got to take it back out because I need to be able to change the throttle control her. Ah, fun. And very, very busy weekend with uh, machines going by. Makes sense. May 2-4. <laughs> well, I had the idea that uh, the newer style was going to be different, and it is. Uh, so I had to uh, put a new cable through this guy. I say a new one, but I still got to bend my end. I uh, had to cut it a little bit shorter, use a broken one to fix it, but yeah, here's one that I pulled out of the newer Sears and you can see it didn't fit. So not too big of a deal. Always good to keep for spare parts, but uh, yeah, kind of sucks. I was, ended up using the center wire, you could say, from that guy on it. Just gave it a nice lube, use that stuff on her. And uh, the fun part of trying to put it back in. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit tight spot, especially with this lip they have at the front here. So. Makes it a little tricky to get in there, but yeah, it should go back in a lot quicker, I hope, but probably not. Well, I'm actually surprised. Most of these batteries still sitting at 10 volts. Just disconnected them all. Roughly 10, 11 volts, 10, 11 volts. This one's about nine volts. So I should have really disconnected this a long time ago. There's a lot of wires sitting here that, I mean, all the way up the walls here, but, uh, yeah, motorhome's going to be torn down. Uh, has a couple roof roof leaks in it. Uh, it was used for storage purposes, you could say. Uh, no signs of most activity in there. Mm, there's no. I take it back. Look at the end there. Was that a mouse that dug in there? Right at that very end. That kind of looks like a mouse hole, hey? Yeah, I take it back. I see maybe one or two pellets in there, but nothing up top. No, no. take it back. That might, might, might be some in here, but I mean, there's poison everywhere, so they would have died real quick. So, but yeah, roofs pretty much gone, you could say in this thing. So she's all being torn down and uh, might make it into a flat deck. Not too sure, but for now, I wanted to pull these batteries. At least disconnect them. Maybe I will individually charge them up. See what they have for life. Uh, these were virtually brand new semi-truck batteries when I uh, put this together. <laughs> I 
emptying out the old motor home for its own destruction and your childhood toy you're going to destroy. A sledgehammer, just use your hands. It's soft. Like that? I was going to say, watch your eyeballs. How many times when you were younger did you really want to do that? Watch out you don't fall backwards, those would hurt. Yeah, that was definitely dry rotted. Hey, you left the bathroom sink. Holy crap. Okay, that's enough. You just hit me in the forehead. <laughs> well, next week, most of this is going to go into the garden. Yeah. You know, those tomato plants are pretty big. <laughs> some of them. There's some smaller ones, too. Oof. <laughs> Well, finally time to do the brakes on my truck. Emergency brake shoes, might not need them. New rotors, don't need them. Uh, but the rear pads, one side is almost metal on metal, so I've been pushing it. I just did a tire rotation a few days ago and uh, realized that, yeah, 145,000 kilometers on original brakes. Uh, believe it or not, it's the rear pads only that need to be changed. The front ones are still good for probably another... 50,000 maybe 100,000 kilometers uh, the reason why the rear ones wore out is because the electronic traction control it automatically breaks the spinning wheel so it's like a electronic ish locking system so yeah they went down pretty fast the rear brakes this winter but that's because it was very icy out and yeah the project I'll be doing tonight might not use the new rotors or the emergency brake pads just bought them in case I need them when I get in there and through night also sent me a flashlight here. So maybe I'll integrate some of the testing into this video or maybe I'll make a separate video. We'll see. Yeah, I think I called that one pretty close. Less than a millimeter. See, it just started to rub there. So not even a millimeter on there. <laughs> that side was good, but nothing compared to the original ones. That are going back in it. Already did one side and it's going pretty quick. Ha, what a good start. She's out of fuel. I fell her up and then I noticed she cracked. Never started leaking until I started her up. Most of it's being collected in the dirty basin. But yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. The gas is still right up there. So I did lose not even a quarter tank maybe. So not going to put any clips on it but yeah it makes me wonder about the rest of the fuel lines maybe while well, i got my junk fuel lines out oh. oh wait a minute look at the return oh yeah look at that return well i mean it's a return right hmm now that the fuel is lower than that i should change that one i guess too what a bolt that little piece in there well that one's a bitch to change i already know that got to almost take off the fuel tank i think the fuel return i'll do maybe 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 not hey dum-dums hey dum-dums hey triple dum-dums hey dum 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 dums oh, yeah <laughs> yeah that's definitely dum-dums <laughs> holy enough peppers no there's way more way more pepper plants and guess what? Even more in the greenhouse. And those two are an apple or a crab apple. And those are all maple trees. <laughs> yeah, mowing the yard, cleaning up the yard. Probably gonna attempt to grow some grass this year. Not too sure yet. Or put down some more. Uh, so some smaller tomato plants that probably won't go anywhere. Uh, some more maple trees, tomato plants. Those are all apple trees. And uh, yeah, 
I want more tomato plants in uh, different spots, but I don't know. A little bit early still, but doing pretty good. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm going to go get back to work. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into much today. It's uh, getting a little warm, but I don't know. We'll see. Just sitting here smoking your doobie and a fucking bunny. That's a hair. That's a hair. Proxy. Do you want another one? <laughs> Proxy, another <laughs> snack for you. <laughs> hey, Yogi. Hey, mama. Where's Mama? You little baby. Oh, okay. look at all the flies on him. He must be so miserable. Are you all full of flies? Yeah, you ran off into the bush. Little yoga bear. <laughs> Where's mom? Oh, oh that's old here. enough to be by herself. No, that's no. that's last. That's it stopped right there too. That's last year's. Think so? Oh yeah. That's already fairly big. Wow, that trail is destroyed. <laughs> Proxy, leave the poor bunny alone. Oh, Proxy. Proxy, quit hunting that bunny. She's going to be upset at me for that one. I just ruined her snack. 